In this video, we will take a look at a simple solved example that will help us understand how the binomial tree method works for pricing European and American calls and puts. The focus is to find the premium of a European call option which has a strike of 42 and maturity of 3 months. We are also given that the continuously compounded interest rate is 4% per annum. Okay? Please note that the end goal of this video is to establish the equivalence of three different approaches when it comes to using binomial trees. And these approaches are the perfect hedge approach, the replicating portfolio approach and the risk neutral valuation approach. Before I get down to this first approach, let me spend a minute trying to explain how binomial trees work. Okay, so when you hear this word binomial, the first thing that should come to mind is that there are two distinct possibilities. Let me assume that as of today, the price of the underlying stock of this European call option is $40 and over this upcoming period of three months, which is the time step of this single step binomial tree, my stock price can either go up to reach $44 or let's say come down to reach $36. Okay, two distinct possibilities as far as my stock price is concerned. This is an example of a single period binomial tree in which the time step is equal to three months. Okay, these circles which we have drawn in this single period binomial tree are referred to as nodes. Okay, so this is the up node and this is the down node. Please note that the maturity of the call option which we intend to price exactly coincides with the time step of this single period binomial tree. Okay, Then the probability of my stock price moving from the current level of 40 to the up node where the stock price is 44 let's say is given by P up the probability of moving from 40 the current node to the down node is 1 minus P up and that's because the sum of these two probabilities should be equal to 1. Okay, Then because the time step of this single period binomial tree exactly coincides with the maturity of the option, it makes our lives simpler as far as finding the value of this option is concerned as of these two nodes okay if i were to land at this node the value of this european call will simply be equal to the payoff because this european call is expiring as of this time point okay so the value of my european call will be equal to the payoff which is equal to in this node max of 44 minus 42 comma 0 and that's 2 Okay, the payoff in this node, you can quickly work it out, is equal to zero. Okay, the task at hand is to actually find the value of this European call as of this node at which I am currently standing. Okay, now let's come to the first approach and this is the perfect hedge approach. In this approach, let me take the position of, let's say, a trader who has just sold one unit of this European call. So this trader is sitting on a short position in this European call option. This trader is therefore exposed to this risk that the underlying stock price will move in an adverse direction. From this trader's standpoint, the adverse direction is the up direction. Okay, If the price of the underlying stock were to move from 40 to 44, the trader will find himself in a situation wherein the buyer of this option 
will decide to exercise and the trader will have to pay this payoff economically speaking from his or her own pocket. The trader will end up paying two dollars to the buyer of this call option. Okay, so because the trader is exposed to the risk of adverse movements in the underlying stock price, let us include in our portfolio, I mean the portfolio of this trader, a position in delta number of units of the underlying stock. I don't know what this delta is, we'll work it out. Okay, so to work out this delta, let me impose this condition that if this guy, delta units of the underlying stock is indeed a position which will help this trader hedge away the risk of adverse movements in the underlying stock price, then it should be true that by including this position, the value of the overall portfolio should be equal in the up node as well as in the down node. Okay, this extra position which the trader has entered into should be such that it makes the trader agnostic to movements in the price of the underlying stock. Okay, so this is my governing condition that will help me work out the value of delta. Okay, let's do this. Let's very quickly work out what is the value of my overall portfolio in the up node and in the down node. Since my portfolio contains these many units of the underlying stock, when I reach the up node, delta units of the underlying stock will be worth delta times 44. This guy, the option which I as the trader has sold in this node will be worth $2. And because it's a short position, so minus 2. Okay, this is pi up. What is pi down? Simply put, delta times 36 and then minus 0. Okay, so solve this equation. It tells me that 8 delta is equal to 2, which means delta is 2 over 8 and that's 0.25. It's a positive number. It's telling me that to hedge away the risk with respect to movements in the underlying stock price, this particular trader needs to buy 0.25 units of the underlying stock for every option that he or she has sold. Okay, so if I know that delta is 0.25, substitute back this delta equal to 0.25 into either this guy or this guy and work this thing out that the value of your overall portfolio in the up node and in the down node in both these nodes is equal to 9. Okay, so if the overall portfolio is giving you the same valuation in both these nodes, irrespective of which node you land at, you can find the value of your overall portfolio as of today by simply discounting this sum of $9 to today using the appropriate discount factor. So the value of your overall portfolio as of today will be 9 this times e to the power minus 0.04 4 percent right that times 0.25 that's three months in years okay so this tells me that the value of my portfolio as of today is 8.9104 okay so this is one way of arriving at my overall portfolio value the other way of arriving at the value of your overall portfolio as of today is by checking what is contained in your overall portfolio and then checking what is the market price of your portfolio constituents as of today. Your portfolio contains these many units of the stock which as of today are valued at S0 equal to 40 and your portfolio contains a short option position in one European call option and let it be priced at C0, which I don't really know. I'm trying to find out what this C0 is, okay? If I were to invoke no arbitrage, this value which I have arrived at by discounting this sum of $9 should exactly match this value, which is based on 
the overall portfolio constituents and the market price of these constituents okay so i should write this that 0 0.25 that's my delta that times s naught and that's 40 minus c naught should be equal to this guy right this gives me very simply that c naught is 1.09 dollars this is the fair premium of this european call using a single period binomial tree and using the perfect hedge approach